is up everyone welcome back to another episode of tipsy trip and rednecks 2.0 e-bike craft yeah well i've done this video a couple times today and each time i keep forgetting to plug in my mic so i got the mic plugged in this time i hope uh, so hopefully i don't leave anything out or Weeha. Okay, so e-bikes in wintertime, storage of batteries, what should you do? Okay, what I'm about to tell you is from my personal experience, what I've done, what I do, what I've researched. E-bikes in wintertime are fine to drive, yeah. We drive hours all winter long. Been doing it, Tipsy's been doing it for four or five years now. Um, don't leave the batteries or the e-bikes outside so what do we do come once it gets to this temperature like it's eight degrees out today um, e-bikes come inside for the night or the day like once I get to work the e-bike will come inside for the day yeah, it's just my personal opinion a lot of people say you don't have to do that until it gets to zero I've heard people say minus 10 while well, I say 10 degrees that's my personal opinion. It's not good to leave your e-bikes out all over winter. You will lose, you know, power loss. You will lose battery come springtime. I've done it where a set of batteries should have lasted me three plus years. They lasted me a year and a half, which I didn't mind because those batteries were only 300 bucks to replace lead acid. These batteries here are three grand to replace after using your bike in the winter time or cold weather like like today you know eight degrees out but still i'll wait till my batteries are room temperature to charge it that's a big thing too you should never charge frozen batteries or batteries that are cold always let them warm up to uh at least room temperature if you can um, if you can't bring your bike inside, try to bring the batteries inside. Like this bike here, it has removable lithium-ion batteries. You put the key in, unplug it, pull the batteries out, and boom. Easy as that. Um, you know, some batteries are harder to take out. Some batteries you gotta strip apart the entire bike to get the batteries out. And then, then um, like if they're lead acid, they're all wired. And if you don't know what you're doing and you try to remove those, next thing you know, you're going to short out some batteries trying to hook them up or burn some fingertips or, you know, or find like a controlled storage if you're not planning on using your e-bike in the winter. I just make, I got three steps to get my e-bike inside, so I make the ramps. I got two ramps and I just stand beside my e-bike and push it in. Uh, if you drive it in the snow, be prepared to fall and wipe out. It's fun. I'm not going to say we haven't wiped out and crashed. We love it. We do it constantly. Even when we're trying not to wipe out. We still wipe out. That's why this bike ain't going to see a drop of snow this year. This bike's going to stay inside. If I use it in the winter time, which I'll fall, you know, I wasn't planning on using it. But uh, a couple things have changed. And it, it'll probably get some use in the cold weather, which I'm going to put the uh, my other lithium batteries in it for the cold weather. Because they've already seen a winter, and I don't really care about those batteries. The ones out of the pit high, 72 volt, 30 amp hour. The ones that are in this are 50 amp hours. The only difference is, is um, the amp hour, same plug, connector, same everything. Um, yeah. And those will be the okay if i'm going to go out take the bike out minus 10 or 15 i'm going to put those batteries in um now i've heard people say oh in the winter time you know you you can drive your e-bike all winter and you know it won't have any effect on your batteries i beg to differ because we do it um so if it's minus 10 or 15 out you're going to notice you're not going to be able to go as far as you once did and you might notice a little bit of power loss 
Um, and I, I know Tipsy will second that. He'll totally agree for that one. Uh, long-term effect. I've heard lots of websites and that say they don't really have long-term effect on in cold weather, but I believe they do. Um, especially if you don't treat your batteries correct. You don't let them warm up to charge them. You're going to have major effects on your batteries. But it's fun. It's a knee bike. It's your transportation. Why not, if you can, use it all year round? Park my e-bike and walk everywhere. Well, I could, but I'm not going to. You know, I got another plan up my sleeve for winter time. Not the pit hog. The pit hog batteries are coming out, and that's either being sold or fixed. I just haven't decided. It's not broken right now while it is, because the frame. Dumb Mac never replaced the frame on it, so it's not being used this winter. It's being batteries out and put in the backyard. Like I said, you know, take your batteries out and you can, if you store your bike inside, fine. I'm going to store the bike inside. What I do, again, personal preference, guys. Um, because I'm storing the pit hog outside, I'm going to wrap it up in an old comforter. Um, and after I wrap that bike up in an old comforter, then I'm going to put a barbecue cover over it. Oh, it's windy. Hopefully you can't hear that wind. And I'm going to put um, a waterproof bike cover over it. Just to help keep some of the cold away from it. Now, the cold shouldn't affect anything, but, you know, lots of people leave stuff outside in the winter. But this is just, again, what I'm going to do. My opinion. I don't know. It's kind of a long video kind of going on about something that takes two or three minutes but the whole point about making these videos is to see e-biking and ooh, oh oh i should have checked the time what the heck am i doing Done and done, guys. Just like so. Lots of pumpkins everywhere. Ooh. Yeah, so. I don't know, I think that was my little spiel about battery care in the winter that covered everything. I think. Don't charge your batteries outside. Let your batteries warm up. Don't leave your batteries outside. I guess I could go even along choosing the right style of bike if you know you can't keep your batteries outside or you, if you know you have to keep your bike outside best to get a bike that you can take the batteries out. Does that make some sense? Yeah. Why not? I think I should uh, head to work because you know I've been out I've done a few videos which haven't worked out and Yeah, I don't know what time it is. I could look in my pocket. That would make the most sense, but... Okay, guys. That's going to be the end of that video. Have a great day. Make sure you stay tipsy, stay tripping, and stay taking down...